In today's video, we're digging deep into a luxury buffet breakfast in India at iconic Conrad Bangalore. Also, I'm revealing the massive foodie secret that luxury hotel buffet breakfasts are accessible without a stay at a hotel, and I'm giving some tips on how to break mundane work life without having to go far. So make sure to stick around until the end. Welcome to Conrad Bangalore, one of my favorite luxury hotels here in Bangalore and we are about to enjoy an amazing breakfast buffet. This breakfast buffet is available on all days of the week, so not like a Sunday brunch, although it is there on a Sunday as well. And did you know that even if you're not a guest here, you can walk in for this amazing breakfast buffet. So without further ado, let's go and enjoy some yummy foods. We can start at the paratha counter. They have paneer paratha, alu paratha, and what is this? Oh, nothing. So, alu paratha or paneer paratha, and you can uh, order it fresh. Then here are some other dishes. This is avial paisa, which I'm guessing is sweet, actually. Oh, poha. So this is flattened rice with a lot of spices and peanuts. I love, love, love poha. That looks so amazing. Then we have dahlia kichdi. So kichdi is rice and dal normally cooked together, but then this is with dahlia, which is a different type of grain, and it's a little bit more coarse than rice. Then we have semya upma over here. Ooh, nice. Also a breakfast dish and a kadla curry. Oh, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> I love this. So it's a black chickpeas curry. Very, very flavorful and smoky. I love this so, so much. Then, of course, at an Indian breakfast buffet, we have to have idli. Oh, ho, ho. look at that steam, guys. That looks amazing. This is putu. Wow, they have putu at breakfast. That is so rare. Putu is steamed a rice, and it's actually rice cakes. Oh my gosh, putu and kadla curry is the best combination. Definitely going to have that. Love that so much. Then we have special of the day, puri alu bhaji. Puri is the fla uh, fried wheat bread, and then alu bhaji is the potato curry. This is the whole reason why I'm making this video because I recently had this at a staycation and it was so good. So I thought I have to share this breakfast with you guys. Then of course we have medu vada a famous savory Indian donut bre for breakfast and punu gulu. Oh my gosh, I've never had this before. I really have to try that. Then we have alu bhaji, so the potato curry and the sambar. Over there, you can also see the chutneys, some coconut chutney. I think that is some curd, some pickle over there. I love, oh my gosh, is that a peanut chutney? I'm not sure if it is, but I definitely need to have a dosa here because this is the fresh dosa counter again one of the reasons why i'm literally making this video because the dosa with the chutneys was so freaking good last time oh my gosh okay so we have maestro masala dosa regular masala dosa which is like with the potato masala kal dosa that one i don't know then we have ragi dosa love 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 me some ragi dosa then plain dosa honestly if you just order the plain dosa with the chutneys, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And then there's a ghee roast dosa. So everybody wear your mask while picking food from the buffet counter. This is awesome. Now this, I think, is such a stunner. This is actually a masala chai and a filter coffee cart. How amazing is this? So sometimes they actually bring this to your table and they can make a masala chai or a filter coffee in front of you. Filter coffee is very, very South Indian and masala chai obviously it's <laughs> all over india but yeah if you want to try something super typical south indian try to fill the coffee if you haven't tried that before what a lovely setup i love 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 this cart this is so cute um can i have a plain dosa with uh, gunpowder and uh, of course all the chutney thank you <laughs> then we are going to move oh into the healthy options we have oh this tomato chutney my goodness it is so freaking good okay over here we have ghee which is clarified butter then we have gum powder trust me just order a plain dosa with the gum powder and the chutneys you will not be disappointed at all some curry leaf powder oh that's also so good we have mixed pickle over there amla pickle which is gooseberry very very sour garlic pickle 
and chili pickle and over here is a coconut chutney then we have in the healthy options let's see some plain sauteed vegetables if you really like being healthy in the morning this is a little bit too much for me masala oats Ooh. okay so we have regular sweet oats in the west but in india we have masala oats which is amazing definitely make sure to try that once and then there are baked beans over here and some oats porridge yeah so the regular way the way we know it in the west then over here what is this i'm guessing oh this is jaggery some almonds and some raisins you like some toppings for your oats now we're going to move into the oh my goodness there is a whole juice corner i am excited about this we are currently practicing social distancing i'm here super early so there's actually nobody around i'm very well at social distancing <laughs> over here we have a muskmelon watermelon pineapple my favorite oh my gosh look at all those exotic fruits rambutan i just love how rambutan looks some plums i actually don't even know what this is is this passion fruit hmm interesting and over here mango steen oh love 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 i'm guessing those are just for decorations but i just love that they are there loving this setup oh cucumber mint juice 10 10 would recommend this one is so good so refreshing it's not sweet at all so if you do want it sweet you'll have to add some jaggery or sugar yourself fresh watermelon juice also really really good we got some more drinks over here oh love 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 the fresh coconut setup wait you can actually order the tender coconut <gasps> this makes me so happy that's awesome go conrad we got some nice drinks over here so this is a mint iced tea then we got some strawberry milkshake and a cold coffee which one would you pick i think i would go for either the mint iced tea and then a little bit like a little shot of strawberry milkshake that would be lovely and if you want some healthy water we got copper vessel water here that's so nice i love the aesthetics look how pretty everything looks this is such a wonderful environment guys cheers to an amazing breakfast i don't like waking up early but when it's for a breakfast buffet like this yes please anytime actually the reason why i wanted to bring you here is to share the knowledge that not a lot of people have that even if you're not staying at a hotel like Conrad, you can always walk in during the week for the breakfast buffet. It's not as extensive as a Sunday brunch, as you can see, but obviously it is very extensive. And I think for the price, it is mad value for money. A lot of people don't know this. They think that if you want to have a hotel breakfast, you always have to stay at that hotel. No, that's not true. You can just walk in Conrad and enjoy the breakfast feast so cheers that's exactly what we're doing today mm. haven't really seen this like a fresh young coconut at breakfast buffets go conrad while i'm waiting for the dosa a first round over here with some putu so the steamed flat uh, well actually it's coconut with rice but then like very fine and it is steamed so it's very light actually the kadla curry the chickpea curry then over here the poop oh gosh i already forgot what it's called but it looks so interesting and very very fresh and crispy over here medu vada and of course the tomato chutney and the coconut chutney i actually want to try this first because i'm just fascinated what it is i've never seen this before let's take a little bit coconut chutney here don't get mad at me because i mix the coconut chutneys <laughs> some people are real like purist they don't like it mixed but i like it mixed there we go Oh, oh, it's a little bit like a mangalore bun, but even lighter. This is so good. Ooh. I'm going in for a second bite immediately. Tenten recommended. This is extremely addictive. I'm happy I only took one because otherwise I'm just going to eat this. <laughs> going in for the medu vada. Honestly, I would not necessarily take a medu, medu vada from a breakfast buffet because I can just eat it in daily life. Uh, well, neither would I take a dosa, but this one looks so fresh and so perfectly golden brown. Look at that. Okay, I need to try that. I am drooling, man. Made of what I got. 
good, extremely good, like top-notch menu vena. I know I should add sambar, but not in a sambar type of mood. Just a coconut chutney and a tomato chutney. No regrets, really good. Going in for the putu and kadla curry. Oh my goodness, I can't believe they have this at the breakfast buffet. This makes me so happy. <laughs> that kadla curry, so freaking on point. Not too salty, very important. And enough spices, enough curry leaves. The putu is like nice and fluffy. I'm so happy they have this. Mm -mm -mm. That's yummy. That's really good. The dosa is arriving. Look at this. <laughs> I've been dreaming about this. It's so good. <laughs> I also got masala chai over here. Of course. Don't worry. I had the coconut first. First cold. And then hot. I'm not mixing it. <laughs> it's so funny. There are a lot of... I wouldn't call it superstitions. A lot of food rules. And I think they come a little bit from... Ayurveda but also from knowledge from older generations on how you should eat foods which is best for health and I'm always very fascinated by that so if people tell me like first cold and then hot and don't mix it um, I listen to that that's okay <laughs> oh man the adrak in this the ginger so freaking good <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. look at this beauty oh my gosh this dosa i've been dreaming about this so just take a plain dosa with gum powder they will add some ghee which is clarified butter oh you are going to hear such an amazing crunch actually i'll take my microphone off and hold it close then we have tomato chutney coconut chutney oh a little bit somber here i think you're ready for this oh, oh, oh. can you hear that <laughs> so good And it's still a little bit soft on the inside. Oh my goodness. Too good. Some. Listen, I live in Bangalore, where in South India, pretty much we can get a good dosa on every corner of the street. So if I say that this dosa impressed me and I actually dreamed about it, you you should know that it's a really really good dosa <laughs> a bite with the tomato chutney oh. it just has this very smoky flavor from the gunpowder but then when you combine it with this particular tomato chutney the smokiness is just amazing let me try it with the coconut chutney and everything is obviously freshly made so the tomato chutney coconut chutney it's not that watery stuff i don't i don't really like that this is the the creamy thick chutney mm -hmm. and and of course masala chai cheers to the good life we got a congee soup and salad station over here with all of the asian sauces and then we have so congee is actually a soup oh wait this is just a vegetable clear soup a very light morning breakfast and then we have congee which is a savory a very very light rice soup and i'm guessing you add the sauces to add all of the flavor in there um definitely worth trying if you have never tried it before but it is quite bland. We have the cereal and bread station over here. This is the muesli. Ta-da! Cornflakes, of course. Some choco flakes. I'm guessing for the kids. And some wheat flakes. Got some almonds over here. Some cashew nuts, raisins. Oh, dates! Oh, that's nice. I love dates. And then we have some cold milk and some hot milk. Take your pick. Now, you can also choose to make your own salad i'm wondering if there's ever anybody who eats salad at breakfast guys i need to know because i never touch the salad station but i'm very happy that it's there though butter oh ho, ho. this makes me so happy see this is why you go to a luxury buffet breakfast these kind of things make me so happy the smallest of details looks so good 
then the bread station oh my gosh i am a bread addict not gonna lie so this is my jam for sure we have a multi-grain loaf over here some hard rolls we got a sourdough bread oh my gosh that one looks so freaking good need to have that then a baguette and a soft roll if you're into that regular plain toast obviously a toaster Ooh, for the non-veg people place your egg orders here we got a masala omelette i would definitely try that if i would eat eggs but i don't eat eggs sunny side up egg benedict oh my gosh that is so nice a poached egg i would have both egg white omelette oh that's fancy if you're very very healthy boiled eggs then of course you have some sausages over here we got a lamb sausage oh that's fancy and a chicken sausage potato veggies some grilled tomatoes then this is oh ho, ho, yes please the live counter for the french toast served with nutella and maple syrup oh my goodness this is my dutchy heaven we got the cold cuts bar over here can you see this cheese this makes me so happy <laughs> so we got a cheese platter over here i'm guessing i'm guessing no this is emmentaler this is brie this is some kind of smoked cheese and this is a cheddar we got a plain yogurt over here oh this also looks so fancy ooh, 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 that's the way you know your food is sanitized bircher muesli flavored yogurt oh my goodness smoked salmon chicken salami and turkey ham this this is fancy this is really nice so yeah over there some cream cheese we got some olives some mustard i'm guessing and some olive oil that looks good if you're a non-veg person you'll be very happy in this counter one more savory round before i get into the sweets of course the cheese head <laughs> the dutchy had to get some cheese and some good bread so this is a sourdough bread looks very tasty of course some butter oh this makes me so happy it's like these tiny details that make me really really happy and then i have the cheddar and some smoked cheese over here and some brie i think this might look weird for a lot of people but this is how we dutch people eat cheese we just like put it on top of our bread and <laughs> just have it like this even with fancy cheeses we just well so in the netherlands a lot of cheeses that are fancy abroad are not that fancy they're actually very common so that's why we just put them on top of our bread and really nice bread smoked cheese man try the smoked cheese recommended by the dutchie <laughs> moving on to guys the sweet section and this is also one of the reasons why i'm making this video because these donuts are heaven and one of the biggest reasons why i really really like them yes they're cinnamony yes they're sugary but they are not eggy which is very rare to find i can tell you at a breakfast buffet then we got some banana cake over here i haven't tried that one yet chocolate muffin berry muffin berry danish okay and a chocolate danish oh i definitely want to have that then we have a pain of chocolate so a chocolate bread thingy and of course a croissant look how beautiful the setup is oh my gosh this makes me so happy and we have arrived at the pancake and waffle station so you can order fresh pancakes and waffles over here with maple syrup, honey, whipped cream, choco chips, berry compote, or Nutella. When you guys order pancakes, what is your favorite topping? Let me know down in the comments below. For me, 100% Nutella and maybe whipped cream. Like, I'm a chocolate freak, love that. Then we have, oh, how cute is this? Look for the kids. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like, oh like the cutest pancakes hi can i have uh, one waffle with nutella, nutella eh? whipped cream <laughs> yeah can thank you number, sorry your table number um it's in the back <laughs> thank you so much oh yeah the waffles are coming thank you so much that looks so good perfect who wants some waffles i do oh my gosh how good do these waffles look like it's so happy try this if you haven't tried it before nutella whipped cream waffles so good mm -hmm. how many rounds can you do at a buffet 
or at a breakfast buffet specifically. My standard, and I'm not joking, I went to a lot of breakfast buffets, is four. I do four rounds. Usually my first round will be fruits. Second round will be breads, or if I'm in India, some kind of Indian foods. Then third round will be sweets, fourth round will also be sweets. And I can rarely like also control myself if I'm at a buffet because the food is just too good. Oh, I got the cucumber mint juice here as well. To refresh the palate, as they would say in MasterChef. <laughs> Final round. Obviously, I had to get one of those chocolate danishes and the cinnamon donut. Trust me. If there are a couple of things that you should eat at this buffet, it should be the putu, the dosa, that, that small thing, the pulugulu, and um, the donut. I'm Oh, waffles and cheese. I'm sorry, I made a whole list for you. <laughs> like That's your to eat list if you ever come here. Your to eat bucket list. <laughs> um, having the donut, it's so freaking good. So the waffles were not eggy, very, very important. And this donut, I had it the last time I was staying here is not eggy too this does mean that it's a little bit more dense than a regular donut but to be honest if i have to choose between a little bit more dense donut or an eggy donut mm -mm -mm. i'll go for a little bit more dense donut any time of the day the chocolate danish i love it when the danish are not too big so you can eat a lot of different things <laughs> mm. so flaky I also got two drinks to try. So this is the mint iced tea and this is the strawberry milkshake. I don't think I'm going to drink a lot of this. So I just took a little bit to try it. Oh, that's actually really good. Not too sweet. Oh, this is good. I did not expect to like this as much as I do. This is really good. Try the strawberry milkshake and then the mint iced tea. Ooh, very zingy. Love it. Mm -mm -mm. Very MasterChef approved. Finally, here's a massive foodie tip if you're getting super bored working from home. One of the best ways to get out of a rut is to go out, enjoy an amazing breakfast buffet like this one at Conrad Bengaluru, and plan your meetings in the coffee shop after. Luxury hotels are pretty much the safest and most professional places to have business meetings now. Try it out and see how refreshing it is. Which of the foods would you really like to try? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to take somebody here or somebody else needs to take you here, make sure to share this video with them, put a thumbs up. I am so stuffed and I'm so, so happy I got to share this experience with you because I don't know if you know this, but I haven't done a buffet video in 84 years. No, that's not true. I haven't done it in two years, but that's a very, very long time. I'm just so happy that we are kind of back on track again make sure to subscribe to my channel and join 230,000 other subscribers thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye